Hello dear friends, this is Mehmet. In this tutorial I am going to talk about how we can validate our finite element software uh, with the analytical solution. In uh, the analytical solution I select the stress calculation in thick wall cylinder and in this calculation we don't uh, require any uh, material properties just we are calculating the uh, based on geometrical uh, information about thick wall cylinder or and the pressure applied pressure uh, however uh, to apply uh, the thick wall cylinder approach we need to uh, uh, fit be in uh, some criteria. This criteria is the radius uh, and thickness ratio. If the ratio is less than 10, we can uh, apply thick wall cylinder. What is this ratio? Radius over T should be less than 10 and if it is so, we can apply uh, thick wall cylinder approach. Uh, in order to make this, I select a geometry which has the inner di diameter is 3 mm, the outer diameter is 7 mm. The height of this uh, tube is not important yet. This tube is uh, used in high pressurized uh, uh, area for example uh, in the water jet tube and in the fuel injection of a car and uh, these tubes are working uh, under very high pressure uh, I would like to uh, give some material information about that this is I will focus on the uh, just the linear material the Young's modulus of our material is 210 gigapascal and the poison ratio is not written in this table but it is 0.3 and the other strain hardening and yield criteria will not be defined for this stage. Okay, let's start uh, to draw this uh, geometry. I will uh, draw this geometry in two dimensional, therefore uh, first of all, I will apply, uh, activate the planar solution and adjust my grid and 5 by 5 millimeter and in Y domain it's also the 5 by 5 millimeter and the distance between us uh, is 5 millimeters. Yeah. Okay. I create my uh, grid and I'm going to draw the cross section of our tube. And geometry and mesh, geometry and mesh. I'm going to draw a circle, circle, center radius at 0, 0, 0 is the center of our grid and the radius is 1.5. Oh, uh, I. Sorry, I select a different point and center should be somewhere here. I can see. Mm. Okay, I will do it manually. Zero, zero, sorry, zero, 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 and the radius is 1.5, this is the radius, and again, zero, 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 and 3.5 is the outer diameter. Okay, the ne next step is to create a uh, mesh. First, first of all, I will divide our curve in a specific division, let's say the 50 division in outer circle and let's say 80 division 
in small circle and enter. This will be decide our mesh resolution. Planner mesh. Let's say 8 by sorry, 8 by 80. And quad mesh select all. Yeah, this is uh, quite good. Okay, we create our mesh, and the next step is defining the uh, table. Yeah, we will define the timetable to make a solution depends on time. Add points from 0 to 1 seconds so our uh, our solution will be in 1 second and second step is uh, the material definition let's define a linear material and Young's modulus to 10 gigapascal yeah and poison ratio is 0.3 and let's close this which elements uh, belong to this material elements all elements okay after that contact our mesh is a deformable And the next step is the boundary conditions. Uh, I will apply uh, 500 megapascal pressure, and therefore I have to fix some nodes in the out outside. Fixed displacement. It will be fixed in the x, y, z directions and in the rotation as well uh, nodes I will fix from two nodes alright let's add the pressure 500 megapascal uh, this pressure is applied based on time and curve this curve okay then okay and the last one of the last step is uh, our load cases just load there's no contact there's nothing yeah and okay job structural job my load case is this this is uh, I will not uh, name it again and okay before running this i will define the element type solid element and quad uh, plane strain full Hermann full formulation will be used in this uh, elements all ele for all elements okay and let's look at the solution let's check there's no error run and submit it will take time according to your computer specifications, but it is not so heavy job, so it will finish a couple of seconds. And my solution is completed. Let's look at the results. Okay, let's select. Uh, I missed to add some uh, results, so I will go back and job which outputs are needed yeah stress and equivalent one misses stress which i will investigate complete open post file and let's look at stress distribution 
we reach the fifth, fifth uh, step and encountered a stress distribution on surface is uh, approximately a thousand uh, megapascal and this is a cold stress and let's look at the global variables boundary conditions uh, we our uh, tube is under the pressure uh, which is uh, 500 megapascal we didn't release the pressure therefore our one missile stress is uh, higher uh, let's look at the stress components radial and tangential stresses uh, tangential stress is approximately 716 megapascal maximum and the minimum is 486 megapascal and radial stresses are as, are, uh, as well okay we solved our problem now let's go back uh, to analytical solution as I mentioned, I'm using the thick wall cylinder approach, the radial stress and uh, tangential stress are calculated uh, in accordance with these equations. I already uh, wrote these equations to the Excel table and it's here. And the Excel table is written in here and what is the inner radius, what is the outer radius and what is my applied pressure is defined in here and this is the radial changes it starts from one point for example five which means uh, in a radius of the hot tube and up to 3.5 mega uh, millimeter sorry uh, let's fill this in the linear okay something like that and we have nine samples in here let's adjust this Ten. okay fill series and all right that's okay I'm checking is there any problem with this all right uh, the radial and tangential stress distributions are uh, plotted in this figure now I will uh, add the, the finite element results to here uh, for radial and tangential stresses and I will uh, look at the curve if uh, there is no agreement our finite element and analytical solution doesn't agree it says doesn't agree with the solutions results okay all right which component we have here is the radial stress and path floats and sample from to sample point the first point first of all I will uh, I want to be sure I'm in the last uh, last step yeah I am in the last step and here is the first point and here is the last point number of division is 10 Okay, and add curves, which variable is x, this is the x and 
this is the component of stress is by sorry for that this x and this is the y and fit and add curves again this is x this is the y and fit yeah we have two curves and let's copy this the clip part and This is the component with the minus and this is the radial stress. Okay. And this is the component. The next component is uh, tangential stress. value should be the radial distance and okay I plot my uh, results with the finite element analysis and when we look at the curve uh, all the curves are agree with each other and so we can say that our uh, finite element solution and analytical solution results are agree with each other.